There's Ted May. Hey, did you see Dave Omano yesterday? Did you see Dave Omano yesterday? No, I didn't see him. I, I thought, yeah, him. he was in the show. Oh, was he? Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So, I'm always seeing Pepper. I mean, that, that star Pepper walking around, you know, the. Who, me? Pepper TV, yeah. Yeah, Pepper TV. That's yeah. me. He keeps the salt on the uh, airwaves. <laughs> Have a good show today. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Randy. Yes, Morty. How's the show been? Uh, the show's been really good, Randy. Uh, I'm really glad you're here. I don't think I could do a show without you, so you've got to keep coming. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'll go ahead to the booth and uh, put my gig bag down. I got a gig bag in my hand. I actually have uh, some waters. Bruce is already taking up residence. And uh, we'll start our day out. <sighs> Here is an older custom shop strat in surf green. Melody makers and a silver Les Paul from the 80s. Here's a George Lynch Kamikaze and several other guitars from the 80s, including Hamers, Kramers, and more. Here with Steve Warner today. And Steve, uh, how's the show been for you? Steve, can I get a comment? Okay, thanks. As you can see, it's kind of wearing down now. It's kind of thinning out. We've had a, a really good day as far as the crowd goes. Lots of people have been here, but now it is uh, definitely uh, slowed down. I remember when this guitar was made, it was a Jenna Jameson, and everybody's freaking out because it was a porn star on a guitar. <laughs> I always thought these Trini Lopez's were probably cool because they had the sharp cutaways. So, all right, everybody's gonna be in the vlog. So if you're in Atlanta, nobody cares about me. Nobody cares. If you're in Atlanta, you go see Greg at Atlanta Vintage because he uh, he's the real deal. Yeah, you go to Burger, you go see me. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and if you're in Daytona, come by and see me. That's right. That's right. People always ask me why these silver bursts from the 80s turned green. Because you could smoke in bars back then. I forgot to show you what it looked like this morning when everyone was lining up to get in here. So this is Tom Petty's first First amp. First amp. It's pretty cool. That's really cool. You gotta get the mojo off of it, man. Just like, just let it flow into your body. Go with my telly. Yeah, yeah. That's Stan Lynch, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys see me walk around and you think there's nobody here, but it's late in the afternoon and this is the only time I could get out of my booth. So this booth was dedicated to a dealer that uh, passed away last year, Ken. Really great guy, 
Always had a smile on his face. He's definitely missed here this year. Just really, I mean, we miss his smiling face. And always had a, a funny story to tell about the crazy guitars that he would bring. So, Ken, we do miss you, bud. And hopefully you're jamming up there in heaven, rocking out to some good old metal. Today, today we have guitar pick earrings that I hand make with charms of guitars, acoustic, electric, all different colors. I have guitar pins, picks. I do for guitar photography. I match it with pins and picks, flowers with postage stamps and butterflies, all kinds of guitar pick necklaces. I heard, you know what's funny, I came here Friday and I just... Did you do well? Have you sold a lot of this to, yesterday? Yes, and these I make, these are great. These are wooden guitars that I put real posted stamps of all musicians from around the world on there. And where can people find you? Photoandstamp.com Photoandstamp.com All spelled out properly. Photo and A and D stamp.com All right. See you later. Not leaving yet. Uh, Grinning Alex not leaving yet. Ladies and gentlemen, Keith Myers. Dun, 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 dun. The vintage guitar specialist. Cool. All right, what do you got? Randy, check this out, man. I had a friend who was at the Taylor Hawkins Tribute concert in Wembley Stadium backstage with Dr. Brian May. And he gave me this really, really cool keepsake is that really what it is that is an actual sixpence from backstage at the queen show and my friend said you know hey you make all these guitar picks out of coins you should have one of the guys that became well known for doing that so absolutely i thought it was a really neat gift and uh, i'm gonna treasure this yeah absolutely i would too what's it sound like um a sixpence <laughs> none the richer Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, it's uh, it, it the, the difference between this and um, and a finished pick is that you're going to have more plink. You're going to have a little more grab with the uh, the unfinished uh, ridge, um, and that's why I actually remove turn it into actual picks because you get you get rid of that attack noise. Very cool. I think there's even a queen pick. Yeah, look at that. There's a queen pick right in there. Okay. How fun! It's very cool. So you guys know where to get these picks. You know, if you want picks from coin picks. Coinguitarpicks.com. Exactly. Okay, when did Night Swans become $3,900 guitars? <laughs> I used to sell these things for 1200 bucks all day long. Polka dots, nonetheless, not just plain colors. Pretty. Say what you, say what you will about the 80s. It's some of the coolest looking paint jobs in the 80 guitars. Remember you used to be able to find these in your garage all the time? Yeah, not anymore. Alright. This is a rare bird. This is Kramer. Hmm. Right, who, who's going to play this thing? <laughs> Here's a guitar, it's, it's a 92 uh, PRS, just a custom 24. Now these, for some odd reason, PRSs now are starting to actually get hot. And I haven't figured it out yet. For years, these were duds. I mean, you could bring a PRS into the shop and you know wouldn't expect to get a whole lot for it because nobody wanted them. Now, all of a sudden, everybody wants the American stuff. And I've been searching for it and I can't find it. Old 41. Just walks up and he says to me, That guy says, Yo, you got two boots here? I go, no. he goes, I just saw you over there. <laughs> Happens all the time. Yeah, it's so funny. There's a 64 1 PAF <laughs> US 335, so evidently one has been changed. He's got the uh, 56 strap, 19 grand. Appears to be refinished. It's an old Esquire. Esquire. It's 50. No, it's 66. 11, 5. 73. 
Two base. Pretty cool. How about these things? Remember these? Yeah. Everybody remembers those. The silver tone with the amp in the case. I had several of those back in the day. Tags are looking pretty rough today. I think I'm going to have to redo some of these tags. I mean, some of them are all right, but like, like that. That guitar is now $45, and I don't think a Gibson the R8 is $45. It's going to stay overnight. So that's going to be it for uh, the Orlando Guitar Expo for 2023. Yes, it is. Maggie helped out a lot. She was uh, up here taking the uh, the guitars and getting them in line. Yeah, yeah, and all the money. So many people. Yep, and last year, you know, she was on the channel. She had hair like mine. I gave her all kinds of crap. And it's okay. It's, I'm going to re-dye it red this week, so. Okay, so she's she's part of the color club. Oh, of so, course. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and become part of the channel. Until next time, Maggie, say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.